Hey everybody, welcome back to Living In My Now. I am so sorry I have not posted, but between finals and then getting ready for school to go back again, I have a bunch of stuff I need to get done before my classes start. But one of the things I wanted to get done was to record some videos. So I apologize for the hiatus. It's really crazy. But anyways, I'll explain that later. But at any rate, um, a couple of things have been brought to my attention and God just kind of um, brought to my mind that the way singleness is treated in our society um, it's almost like a disease that needs to be cured like singleness being single is a terrible terrible thing and people just need to step in and fix it or you need to step in and fix it and that is not the case so I'm going to talk about the curse of being single it's really not a curse but anyway we're just going to jump right into it there's a couple of things that brought this subject up that happened in the last few weeks that I kind of want to share. One of the things is there was a friend of mine who we were just talking and another person walked up and started talking with us and the situation I couldn't excuse myself I'm just going to say that now and the other person asked the friend I was originally talking to like well when are you getting married or something about marriage and he said no I'm not I don't want to get married and he was giving his reasons and um, the guy just like kept pushing like well why this well why that why don't you do this why don't you do that and but and it was really awkward for me to be there. I felt bad for him because first of all, that was a conversation that should have been had in private. And second of all, it's like, that is his decision. If him and the Lord came to that conclusion, then that's totally fine. I, I don't understand why everyone has to desire marriage. Just like if that's what he would like, that's his, that's his choice. Um, so that was one situation that was just kind of, oh, and then another situation was um, with me. So, you know, you take those cute little quizzes on Facebook. And I took one because my cousin took one. And I said, what will your relationship status be in 2018? So I took it and it said, happily single. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cute and funny. So I just like reposted it and I put those laughing faces and I said, figures, right? <laughs> so then I get this private message from someone who I believe... This person is someone who's praying for me to get a husband. Um, and she said, you know, this makes me feel some type of way. Can you take it down? And I was like, well, I'll think about taking it down. But what, what's making you feel some type of way about it? Um, and uh, let me put this disclaimer in here. I am not offended by any of these things. And if I'm offending someone, I do apologize. I, that is not my intention. It's just to bring something to the surface. When God brings things to my attention, I'm a very full picture person. I see the big picture in it, um, especially through little things. So this is just a video to help people, not to offend anyone. And I do apologize in advance. But um, I didn't see anything wrong with posting that. And it, I'm like okay <laughs> so then the third situation that happened that encouraged me to post this video as well was um there's a girl who I associate with every once in a while and she just got this like super abusive relationship and things were not going well and not even a month later she's with someone else and I'm like what's wrong with you being single why do you have to be with someone just be by yourself get yourself together and she's like no this guy's really nice it's like why are you jumping from relationship to relationship get over what happened to you heal from that allow God to help you but this person didn't want that so is singleness really that bad is it really this curse and this disease that needs to be cured especially by those who are already in relationships I don't think so there's completely nothing wrong with being single whatsoever <laughs> at all so there's just a couple of things especially our society encourages relationships and jumping into relationships some kind of relationship and that's not necessarily the best thing so there are some people in the bible who were single which i want to kind of share with you um miriam moses sister was single mary and martha lazarus the prophet jeremiah and elijah elijah not elisha were single also john the baptist anna lydia and one person that everyone should know if you read the bible is paul Paul was also single and he <laughs> encouraged people to do whatever God's will was. But especially these next few verses, he encouraged the singles. Um, in 1 Corinthians 7, 7, For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man hath his proper gift of God, one after this manner and another after that. 
I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. Paul encouraged singles to be single, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, also, in 1 Corinthians 7, 32 and through 35, but I would have you without carefulness, he that is unmarried cares for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord, but he that is married cares for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. There is difference also between a wife and a virgin. Okay, I'm going to skip that. The unmarried woman cares for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. So we need to be caring for the things of the Lord. If you are a single person, whether you're single or married, but I'm talking to single people, you have more of an opportunity to do things for God because you don't have the commitment of having a spouse and children and a family. You have more freedom to do like I said, things for the Lord. So that is, it actually is a benefit in some ways to be single and rejoice in that. Um, also, most importantly, you know who else was single in the Bible and I didn't realize it until today. I didn't pay attention. Jesus was single. Jesus was very much single. Jesus never got married. You know, and regardless of what the Da Vinci Code says, Jesus did not get married. <laughs> okay. Um, and that is a very important thing. Our own Savior was about his father's business, as he says in Luke 2.49. He was about his father's business. He was not trying to get a date or trying to be married. We are the bride of Christ. He was busy trying to focus on others and getting them saved and showing them the love of God. And that's what we should be doing as single people. So, and my friend, um, one of my really good friends, she said, you know, Sandy, because I was talking to her about what's going on in my life. And she's like, I'm so proud of you. She's like, you need to take advantage of not having the commitment of a family and I fully do and that's going to be another video as well but I just want to give some encouragements to first the married people married people those that are single in your life I'm going to give you some practical tips to help you navigate and actually encourage them more so if you want to be an encouragement the first thing is to pray for us we definitely need prayer just like you, anyone does so pray for us that god would guide us in the direction he wants us to go and that we would just follow also focus on what god is doing in our lives like my friends ask me how your piano how is your voice how is your mentoring how's your youtube how's all these things well, the things that god is doing in my life they ask about those things rarely do i get questions about are you dating are you wanting someone and i, I don't get those questions which I, I'm kind of grateful for. <laughs> I'm very grateful for. I've been fortunate in that matter. Um, treat us like regular people. It is not a disease or something that needs to be fixed. Singleness. That, that's just how God has us at this time in our life. And it's totally fine. Treat us like regular people. Like anyone else. We have lives. We have things that we do too. So yeah. Treat us like regular people. And then also don't think of singleness as less than God's best. Because some people like Paul, like Jesus, we're, they're meant to be single. They're meant to stay that way. And that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And for you singles that are watching this, I'm going to give you some practical tips as well. Um, don't take it all to heart. People say things with well intentions, but it may not come out the best. Um, so don't be offended. And if someone continues to say something to you, like they keep asking every time you see them, when are you getting married? Who's that girl? Don't you want to date them? Blah, blah, blah. Talk to that person. Take them in private and say, hey, this makes me uncomfortable that you ask me this. There's a nice way to say everything and handle that. Um, do what God has called you to do is my second point. God has a purpose for all of us. Do that. <laughs> do that instead of focusing on you don't have a spouse, you don't have someone. Just focus on what God is leading you to do. Um, also, learn to be happy and have joy at whatever point in your life that you are. Um... Don't let others make you feel pressured into doing something that you know is ahead of God's will or not in God's will or not for you at that time. Just stay focused on what God is having you to do. <laughs> Don't feel pressured. Um, singleness is not a curse or a problem that needs to be fixed. Like marriage, it needs to be cherished, protected, and lived to the fullest. I hope this encouraged someone. Like and share and subscribe because I want to help people. That's the point of this channel. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.